Boys and girls watching, we are going to do another paper today and we're going to practice that number that we were talking about in our last lesson. What number is this? Two. Two. And if I put a zero after it, what number would it make? Twenty. Are you sure? Let's do it. Class, stand. And let's go all the way to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty. Good job. Sit down. So you were right. Twenty is a what? A two and a zero. A two and a zero. And today we are going to write that on our paper. Remember, we start at the red dot. We curve up to the ceiling. We're going to slant down to the bottom of the box. And then I'm going to bounce up, bounce down, and curve right back up again to make it look like our little swan. And then for zero, we pick up our pencil. We go to zero. We're going to curve toward that number two. We're going to curve back up and stop to make our number zero for 20. Let's count. I'm going to get my pencil. Let's count the bows on our kite. We're going to start right here and work our way to our kite. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There are twenty beautiful bows on our kite, and it's going to be fun to go fly our kite. Class, stand. Quietly turn your chair into the table. Boys and girls watching, go ahead and prepare for this paper as well. Milo, you got to get in on the other side, sweet pea, every time. Okay, take out your paper and your pencil. Oh, D Joseph, you look sharp. He's got his helper hand. He's got his mommy, daddy, and the baby's already ready to go, and his elbow is up. He is ready to work hard, and he's not going to let go of his pencil. You're being a gentleman and let her in. Thank you. I appreciate that, letting her in, being a gentleman. All right, Daddy says, Follow. Mommy says, Follow. And the baby says, I will always. Great job. Pencil rest on a yellow bow. Pencil rest on the yellow bow. Elijah, when I look around, you are the only boy and girl, because I don't have any girls right here, so you are the only boy that has their eyes on Mrs. Stira when I said pencil rest. Thank you. I appreciate that diligence. Thank you. Pencil check. Where do our eyes go? On our teacher. Nope, not in pencil check. Pencil. Our pencil. So your eyes should be on our pencil, but when the soon as the teacher says pencil rest, your eyes go on me. Pencil rest, pencil check, pencil rest, pencil check, quieter, pencil rest. All eyes should be on me. We'll have to practice again, pencil check, pencil rest. Mm, I have all of table three eyes. Nice, let's see if you can keep your eyes right here. I start at the number 20 on the number two. I'm gonna curve up to the ceiling. I curve around and I go down to the bottom of the box. I bounce up, I bounce down to the box and right back up again. Then I pick up my pencil. I touch the red dot. Mm. I'm going to slay it down to the bottom of the box. I curve right back up to the red dot and stop. Go to the blue box, the blue box. Put your pencil on the red dot of the blue box. Good job. Go to number zero. Curve around and down. Go back up and stop. Pencil rest on a blue bow. Thank you, Connor. That was so fast. His eyes went right on me after he found his blue bow. That's hard work. 
I start at the red dot. I slant up to the ceiling. I curve around and slant down. I bounce off the box, down on the box, and back up again. I pick up my pencil. I start at the red dot. I curve around and go back up and stop to make number 20. Go to the orange box. Put your pencil on the red dot. Begin. Curve up and around. Slant down. Touch the bottom. Bounce off. Touch the bottom again and stick up. Pick up your pencil. Go to the little zero. Curve down. Go all the way back up and stop. Pencil rest on a green bow. On a green bow. Ooh, good job, table two. I see all of your eyes and boys and girls watching. Way to go. Table one, will I have all your eyes? Kayla, do I have your eyes? Mm -hmm. Let's look. I start at the red dot. I curve up to the ceiling. I slant down to the bottom of the box. I stick up. I bounce back and I stick right back up again. Then I pick up my pencil. I curve down to the bottom of the box and I curve right back up again and stop at the red dot. Go to the green box. The green box. Begin. Start the red dot. Curve up. Slant down. Touch the bottom. Bounce off. Bounce back and bounce up again. Go to little up. Zero. Start at the red dot. Curve down to the bottom of the box and right back up again to the red dot. Pencil rest on a purple bow. Pencil rest on the purple bow. Nice. Good job. Eyes this way. I start at the red dot. I slant up to the ceiling of the box. I curve down to the bottom. I bounce off. I bounce back and I stick up. Then I pick up my pencil. I touch the red dot. I curve down to the bottom of the box and I go right back up again and good. Go to the purple box. Go to the purple box. Begin. Curve up to the ceiling. Curve down to the bottom. Bounce off, bounce back, and up. Go to the next red dot. Go to little z the zero. Put your pencil on the red dot. I like how table one is waiting for Mrs. Stewart. Wow, you are using your ears to hear today, and you're listening to the directions. I love it. Go ahead and make your zero. Curve down to the bottom of the box and right back up to the red dot. And then eyes up here. Pencil rest on a red bow. Pencil rest on a bed row. A red bow. Wow, much better this time. Watch. Start at the red dot. I curve up to the ceiling. I slant down to the bottom of the box. I bounce off the box. I bounce to the box and up again. Then I go to the red dot. I curve down to the bottom of the box. Curve around and go right back up again to make little zero for 20. Begin. Start at the red dot in the yellow box. Curve up to the ceiling. Slant down. Mm. Bounce off. Bounce back up. Then pick up your pencil. Touch the red dot and make your zero. Curve down and back up again. Wow, I see some nice number 20s. Lauren, can I see your paper? Let's show your friends. They're working hard. This girl's been working on it. Nice job. Let's see if I can find one from at table two that I could use. Wow, this is going to be a hard choice. Hmm, I think I'll use Bethany's today. Look at that. Working hard today. How's your number 20, boys and girls watching? Good. I hope you did your best. Pencils to bed. And take out your crayons. Johanna, take out your crayons. What color is our kite? Orange. Orange. If it was a rainy day, could we go fly a kite? Mm. Yeah, it would get all wet. What kind of day do we need, Cyrus? It's hot. Well, we, it could be a hot day, but it could also be a cool day. But we need something to make our kite. Not rain. What is it? 
wind. That's right. We need the wind to help us. So I wonder what season, we've been talking about our seasons, what season would be a good time of year to go fly a kite? Do you know? Well, summer would be a good one because we don't have school, but spring, that's what I was thinking because remember in the springtime, it starts to get a little bit cool and it's not freezing anymore, but it's not hot and the wind does like to blow in the springtime. So maybe boys and girls where you're watching, it might be springtime, it might be wintertime there and the wind's blowing and you could fly a kite. I don't know. I've never flown a kite in, a, in the snow before, but I have flown a kite at the beach at the park and that's a lot of fun. So let's color our kite orange. Take out your orange crayon. And we're going to color our kite. Now we want to color it in one direction. So either color up and down or side to side. I'm going to color side to side. What does daddy say? Uncle. What does mommy say? Uncle. What do the babies say? Nice work. Go ahead and start coloring your kite. Color side to side or up and down so that it's nice and pretty so it doesn't look scribbly. Oh, when you first came to school and you were so itty bitty, but now look, you color so neatly because you're coloring inside the lines. You are getting big. would make the wind blow? God. Yes, God makes the wind blow. Now, if I was flying my kite and it was near the clouds, would it be far or near? Far. It would be, it would be far. It probably would look very tiny because it's so high up in the sky. That's right. But if it fell down and it got to the ground, is that far or near? Near. It's near. That's right, because we've been learning some of our opposites. Good job. So our kite, if it's near the clouds, it is very far. I see lots of beautiful colors on our bows. It reminds me of a rainbow. Who made the rainbow? God. God did. When did he put the first rainbow in the sky, Oakley? When? Well, did you listen to the question? When did he put the very first rainbow in the sky? When did he put that there? It came after something very special. What? After the flood. You are right. Way to go. He's thinking in his brain. He's thinking in his brain. He's doing his very best job. I like that hard work. Make sure you're coloring neatly. Color side to side or up and down. Mm -hmm. He's doing a good job. I like these kites. Look at this beautiful work right here. Let me show you. Look at your friend's paper table one. Didn't she do a good job? She stayed inside the lines. She has her number 20 right there. I like that hard work. You are doing your best job. Way to go. Oh, let me see yours. Sweet girl. Well, I love your number 20. Let's work on staying. Oh, I've got to show you this paper right here. Let's look right here at this paper right here. Do you see that? Look at her number 20. His number 20. And look at that kite. Didn't he do a good job? How's yours looking, boys and girls watching? Did you stay inside the lines? How's your number 20 look? Nice. Good. William, your friends like your paper and we like your paper too. You are working very, very hard. I like that hard work. Great job. Oh, your eyes should be right on your paper. And let's see if we can find some more. Table three, can you hold up your paper and show your friends? Oh, good job. All right, you may put them down. I like that hard work. Now we have just a few more minutes, so turn your paper over. Turn your paper over. And let's see if we can make another number 20 all by yourself. Take out your pencil, pencil check. We're gonna turn our paper over. 
And what do I need to make a number 20 again? Uh, two and a zero. A two and a zero. Go ahead and make the number 20. We're making a two and a zero. Hmm. What number comes before 20? 19. 19. Make the number 19 on your paper. Jonathan, that looks great. How do you make another, a, a number 19? A uh, one and a nine. A one and a nine. What number comes after 16? 17. 17. Make the number 17. What numbers do we need to make 17, Luke? A 1 and a 7. A 1 and a 7. Great job. What number comes before number 1? 0. 0. Make a 0. Quietly, make a zero. What number comes before number six? Seven. Not seven. Five. Eight. Eight. Boys, stop. Boys and girls watching, what number? You are right, five. They're thinking in their brain. We're going to write number five. Remember, it's a slanted stick. We make his belly, and then we put on his hat to make number five. What number comes after number 17? What number comes after 17? 18. 18. Make the number 18. What number comes before number 12? Comes before. Not 13. 11. 11. Good job. Make the number 11. We are learning how to write our numbers and our T numbers. So fun. What number comes before? Hmm. What number comes before? Are you ready? Five. What number comes before five? Four. It does. Number four. Go ahead and write number four. Today we wrote what number? Twenty. Twenty. And how do we write a twenty? A two and a zero. A two and a zero. Boys and girls watching, I hope you had fun today with our kite paper. And maybe where you are, you could go fly a kite today. Keep working on your T numbers.